Welcome to Get Indie Gaming. Today we're beginning our 2018 coverage of indie games seeking funding via the Kickstarter platform. We've been through the various campaigns and have selected five titles we thought worth a showcase. Coming up amongst this month's choices, we have a game with its feet fully immersed in the film noir, a World War II flight sim and a promising low poly animal inspired action adventure. In keeping with the series tradition, let's take a moment to review how the games we picked out in December did against their aims. Well, it's wall-to-wall -wall good news here. Zeno Crisis secured just over £72,000 versus a £20,000 aim and met all of its stretch goals, including a port coming out on both the PC and the Nintendo Switch. Session was also a runaway success, bringing in more than 163,000 Canadian dollars, nearly 100,000 more than their targets. The other three games, Prehistoric Kingdom, Starfighter Infinity and The Ballad Singer were also successfully funded, making it a full house amongst the choices from last month. With last month's successes covered off, let's jump into our selections for January. Leading things off, in Volpine, we're looking at what could become a pleasant action-adventurer game where you make your way through a world that's been reclaimed by nature. You'll play as one of six different animals, each one having their own strengths and weaknesses, where you'll encounter many eclectic beasts, creatures, unlock various secrets, and engage in combat with fearsome monster boss battles. Much of the game is said to be exploration-based, all within a procedurally generated, low-poly, diverse set of biomes ranging from dense forests, snowy mountain tops and barren deserts. Each will offer their own contained ecosystem and dynamic weather capabilities. Like others of its type, we can also expect to see elements of crafting and inventory management as you gather resources from defeated foes and things you find from about the place. While perhaps a little rough around the edges, there's plenty of time for this one to develop. The team are looking to raise $22,000 and with just under a month remaining in the campaign, they're halfway towards their target. Let's do this! On the move! Looking for $25,000, with their campaign finishing up on February the 8th, the team behind Eden's Last Sunrise are hoping to bring a unique take on the traditional tactical RPG proposition. Players can expect isometric gameplay, a compelling job system, meaningful character interactions and branching storylines, together with mix and match abilities and challenging battles. In another little twist, from the get-go players will choose a science or magic faction. This naturally will enable you to have different powers depending on which side you go for. You'll also be able to make creative choices in the weapon selection where you're able to infuse parts of other items with healing or magic options to improve your chances as you progress through the levels. Currently expected to launch onto the PC and PlayStation 4 with other systems under consideration, with a demo available to play now, Eden's Last Sunrise should make it out to market at some point towards the end of next year. Next up is the rather fine looking Cerebral, a fully hand animated 2v2 4 player tag team fighter game that's inspired by the likes of Marvel vs Capcom series. It'll ship with local and online modes and will come with a minimum of 4 playable characters and perhaps more if a number of the stretch goals are met. Seeking a rather sizeable sum of just over a quarter of a million dollars, Cerebral is built on the idea that players not only need to know their character and the depths of their own Move sets, but also how players can best work together as a team to defeat their opponents. The people behind the game have spent the best part of three years putting this all together and hope to use this campaign to fund its full-time development. We're certainly enjoying the classical looking 2D art style and kudos for the painstaking work needed to put each frame together. Having spent a short time with the available demo, we're really excited to see how this one turns out. If successful before the end of the February campaign deadline, the team are suggesting an early access launch in Q1 of next year.
from the Polish publisher Movie Games and being developed by a studio called Atomic Jelly, 303 Squadron Battle of Britain is a World War II flight sim that's promising to offer a mashup of realistic flying mechanics, all within an open world that will enable the player to explore RAF Northholt, its surroundings, and perhaps interact with other pilots and staff on the ground. There's also the premise of a first-person mechanic mode, where you'll be able to mix up and change the spec and weapon loadouts of your airplane. Said to be based on real accounts of the time, this one has a planned launch in early access on Steam as early as March 2018. Looking for 12,000 Canadian dollars, stretch goals include a port onto the Xbox, PlayStation 4, and at $300,000 the team are promising VR support. With the recent success stories of Battlefield 1 and the forthcoming Battalion 1944, there seems an added impetus within the market to support these type of pure, back-to-basic, war-based experiences. Having already beaten their initial campaign target as this video comes to air, best wishes to Atomic Jelly in reaching all those extra goals, and while the VR target is certainly stretched, there's no doubt such an option would drive additional and genuine excitement for the fans. And taking the top slot for January, Genesis Noir, on paper at least, comes across as something rather bizarre, and which we know precious little about. If we're being honest, it's so different to what we've seen of late that even describing it is a reasonable challenge. The game takes place before, during, and after the Big Bang. Your character, known as No Man, is tasked to save the love of his life by preventing the expansion of the universe. From a look at the trailer and reviewing the documentation that's available, we're most likely seeing here a graphic adventure experience that uses point and click mechanics which will have you interact with objects and solve environmental based puzzles. Looks wise, while we're highly amused by the team's use of cubist and film noir influences, all within a flat aesthetic using rough and ready sketches of the characters and their surroundings. The team are aiming to get 40,000 US dollars and the title is penciled in for release in Q4 next year. While there's not too much to go on, the playable demo offers a snapshot of what to expect and Here's hoping this catches enough people's imaginations to bring Genesis Noir out to market. And with that, thanks for watching. Please let us know your thoughts in the usual sections, and we'll be back here soon for some more videos.